the juror we talked to yesterday mentioned that they decided just to take a straw vote right out of the gate. And it kind of surprised us because we had a hung jury ultimately. But she said that their vote was 12 to nothing to convict for murder. Meaning right after they finished hearing the evidence, all 12 jurors initially thought Ray Tenzing was guilty of murder. Then they began deliberating and jurors changed their minds. Danietta Bailey, president of the Black Lawyers Association of Cincinnati, says that's not uncommon. So it might be, hey, well, you know, I'm initially thinking murder, but this is someone's life that's hanging in the balance. And I feel guilty about making that my final decision within only the first hour of deliberations. Maybe I should rethink it and give it more thought because somebody is relying on me and what I decide affects their life. Dieter says this doesn't mean he's leaning toward a retrial. I wouldn't say that right now. In the end, jurors couldn't reach a unanimous verdict. Dieter says final tally was four people for murder, four others wanted to convict on voluntary manslaughter, and four were pushing for an acquittal. Dieter says he's still in the process of talking to jurors and assessing the situation. Bailey sees this as a win for Sam DeBose's family. So I think this is huge and supports a retrial. She says now that they know the majority of jurors were in favor of a murder conviction initially, the Black Lawyers Association will formally ask Dieters to retry the case. We were leaning in that direction before today, and this just confirms that we think this is what's best for the community and what's right. The people deserve justice. And I reached out to defense attorney Stu Matthews. He tells me he has spoken to two jurors and he said this is the first time he's heard anything about a 12 to nothing vote on the murder charge. Reporting live tonight downtown, Karen Johnson, WLWT News 5.